the second big Russian attack on Ukraine's energy infrastructure in less than a fortnight. Once again, residents in Kiev had to shelter in metro stations as missiles and drones targeted their city. Our mornings begin with checking the phone to see if there's an air alert. I have to take the eldest daughter to school. We saw that there was an air alert and went to the metro. What do we think about all this? We are indeed fed up with all of it. Ukraine's energy minister confirmed widespread attacks on energy facilities across the country, prompting energy power cuts. Explosions were heard in these Ukrainian cities, including Odessa, Kharkiv and Rivnia. In the west, Lviv, Valin and Rivnia experienced significant power outages. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky condemned the assault, calling it, quote, another despicable escalation in Russia's terrorist tactics. He urged Western allies to expedite air defense support and weapons deliveries. Ukraine recently fired U.S. and U.K. missiles into Russian territory for the first time. Russian President Vladimir Putin, who was attending a security meeting in Kazakhstan, called his country's latest strikes a retaliation. Tonight we carried out a comprehensive strike using 90 missiles of this class and 100 drones. 17 targets were hit. These were military facilities, defense industry facilities and their support systems. I repeat, once again, these strikes from our side took place also in response to the incessant strikes on Russian territory by American missiles, ATACMS. As been said many times, there will always be a response from our side. This marks Russia's 11th large-scale assault on Ukraine's energy infrastructure this year, with the Russian ground forces in the east reportedly advancing at their fastest pace since the conflict began. Ukraine faces mounting challenges as the war enters a third winter. Li Jianhua, CGTM.